Hey guys, welcome to The Prepping Preacher. I'm Brother Tim, man. I'm so glad you're here. I hope God's truly blessed you. I hope you've had a great weekend, man. Uh, I tell you what, what a great day to be in God's house yesterday. But got a lot of uh, uh, comments and questions and, and uh, about how to start. And where we started, we're prepping on $20 uh, a week. And I showed you a first month layout and people said, well, they're looking for the next installment. So we're going to start looking at, if you got that done, we're going to look at the second month. So stay tuned. said in the intro uh had a lot of comments had a lot of questions uh and uh, a lot of good response on starting prepping for twenty dollars a week and uh this is just a foundation and guys this is not an all-inclusive list as i as i continue to say and if you don't if you hadn't seen that uh, video you need to really watch it before you see this one so uh i'm gonna put a link right up there for you uh, of where to look for this but uh, for the first month. Now we're going to discuss the second month. Now you, if you've got the first month, you've gotten the beans, you've gotten the rice, you've gotten the things that we talked about on that first one. So what direction would you go now? All right. And keeping it at the $20 threshold per week is where we're going to be at. Well, I'm going to put a chart here and you're going to see, uh, we're going to still build on our calorie content and also our carbohydrate content on this, uh, because we're going to be needing energy. Uh, this is if the balloon goes up. Guys, this is food to store back. This is food insurance, taking care of your uh, prepper pantry uh, to have food for the family. Now, you'll see on the list there, the, the first thing we got is um, uh, we're going to see elbows, and that's a twin pack. Now, again, for you that haven't seen the first video, we're using Walmart. Uh, I don't really like China Mart that much, but it's local to just about everybody in these United States of America that you can get to a Walmart. And there may be some things that are a better deal uh, at Dollar Tree or Dollar General or your food, uh, uh, whatever, your grocery store. But guys, I, can't, I couldn't cover the gambit of that. And, and here's the thing. Uh, God expects you to be a good steward of your money. So shop the prices. But these were current as of this video uh, in my area. Now, somebody said, well, California, it was a lot higher at their Walmart. Well, I pulled up San Diego and it was the same prices on that first video. So uh, again, things may be different. I don't know. I'm talking about, you know, I'm in Tennessee and these are the prices I'm seeing. They, you know, they may vary in your state. But the first list, first thing here on the list is your elbow macaroni. Now that that's a twin pack and there's six pounds, uh, there's six pounds of that. And it's three dollars and seventy four cent. Uh, the next thing is spaghetti. Now I, I say get two of those. And these are four pound, uh, pound packs or four individually one pound packs in this thing. They're two dollars and twelve cent. You'll see that's fifty three cents a pound for that. Um, uh, the next thing is the chili, no beans. Now that's a good deal because you're not buying the beans. You've already got the pintos. You can add them. Uh, to this okay and cook this up and it spreads it out folks that's the way it is man when you come from a family that was in the uh, the mom and dad both grew up in a depression you you end up spreading out your food and especially the meat uh, the united states is one of the few ones that eats tries to eat meat every uh, <laughs> every meal and we don't have to have it and, and again uh, i'm a carnivore don't think i'm talking about going vegan here on you uh, man give me a good bone-in ribeye any day but uh, get that chili no beans. It's a good it's a good deal because you can you can spread it out and you can use it with the, the macaroni. You can use it with your rice. You can add the extra pinto beans you've got. It spreads it out. The next thing is the crushed tomatoes. Now there's two cans there. They're 28 ounces a piece, and they're 98 cents a can at this current uh, at this current time. Well, the crushed tomatoes also can be used in so many different ways. Um, they have no seasoning to them, okay? There's no there's no oregano or basil or anything. So it, it'd be hard to make your marinara, but we'll cover that in a little bit. But what you can do, though, you can use these to make uh, Spanish rice. Uh, you can use these to make tomato soup. Uh, if you're so inclined, you can even make ketchup with the stuff. But what I'm getting at, um, these are kind of versatile, and you can use them in your diet. Uh, the next thing you'll see is two cans of, uh, of 
green beans. Well, they're 50 cents. Now, it doesn't have to be green beans, but two cans of vegetables. It could be corn if you like corn, or it could be carrots. They've got their carrots on there. Uh, whatever, you know, vegetable, but uh, 50 cents a can for that. So put back some canned goods. Now, on the tomatoes and the uh, and the green beans, they're not going to have the longevity that you're going to get out of the out of the beans, out of the rice, or out of the macaroni, or out of the pasta. Uh, canola oil, next thing. C canola oil, you're going to need that in cooking, and it has some fats. Now, it's a 48 ounce for two dollar and forty cents. Now, of that canola oil, I'm not going to list the, it in the calorie content because. I'm hoping you're not drinking it by the cup, but you use it in your cooking, and you will see some of the fat of it uh, in there. But it's hard to hard to lay it out like you would with the uh, with the uh, pasta or with maybe even the can a canned chili. Uh, next, you'll see the garlic powder, 98 cents for that little bitty 3.4 ounce. All right, this is if you don't have any uh, spices at all. Now, guys, that's not the greatest garlic powder that you'll find. Uh, there are better ones out there. Uh, we buy, you know, online. We'll buy it in a pound at a time. But to get to this $20 mark, you're not going to be able to do that. So get that uh, garlic powder so you have some seasoning. Get the onion powder, same thing, three and a, uh, three and a quarter ounce of it for $0.98. Cents. Uh, get the salt and pepper. Now, you see, we had salt on that first uh, month where we were buying and putting salt back. And so here we got salt and pepper. And these are the little shakers. The reason I'm listing them is because you can't find pepper economically, except this way right here at, at the Walmart. Now, you may find it somewhere else, but uh, this gets you, at least gets you some black pepper here at a, at a decent price, $1.56. Next thing, the Italian spicing. Now, that has the basil and the thyme and the oregano. This is where you can work with uh, the stuff you've got, the, the canned tomatoes that you have. Uh, the rice that you have, the beans that you have, and you can flavor it because I'm telling you, you want some flavor with that stuff. Now, that's the first week you see there. All right, now I'll have the chart up again, uh, uh, and I'll, maybe I'll, if I can figure it out, I'll put it uh, down in the description. But that gives you a chart there of $20.08. The tax has been negated because uh, everybody's sales tax is different in some states like Kentucky I know of doesn't have a sales tax on the food. So that would be your total cost in Kentucky, $20.08. Your total ca uh, calorie content here, 29,135. Now of that, 11,000 of that uh, comes from your oil. And like I said, we don't need to count it. Now, that's your first week of the second month. The next step would be the uh, week two through four. Now week two through four will be different than that first week because we're trying to build up some different stuff. Now, and when I say this, again, you're not locked down to this. There may be some things that are different. Maybe you don't like the chili, no beans. Well, find something comparable in that price range. Maybe you want to get some beef stew or something, but it's got some protein value to it. You're going to get protein out of the beans, but this also will give you some fat in it also. That chili will have it or that beef stew will have it. All right, this weeks two through four, I just do this chart here. And it's similar. You got elbows, the twin pack again, six pounds of it for three seventy-four. Uh, you've got the spaghetti uh, noodles, the dry noodles, uh, two of them, four pounds of them, so it'd be eight pounds there, two dollar and twelve cents. You've got the chili, no beans again. Again, you can substitute. Uh, next, you got the crushed tomatoes, uh, again two of those. Next, we have tuna, chunk white. Now. A lot of people have different preferences. Some people like the standard tuna with the oil. Some like the, the white and the albacore. I understand albacore. A lot of people are telling me it has more mercury. Uh, at this point of time in my life, I don't think the mercury is going to kill me. But uh, choose which one you want there. Uh, also, if you don't like tuna, you could substitute there because that's $3 for those four, uh, four cans. You could substitute maybe peanut butter into that. That's a good protein source. And the cans will keep about, the, the jars of it will keep about a year, year and a half. The powder, now you can buy the powder and reconstitute it. That'll keep about five years unopened. Next, mini ravioli. Now, I like mini ravioli. Maybe you like SpaghettiOs. I don't know. Uh, I mean, but this is another way of, of, of spreading it out here, of stretching it. All right, they'll get four cans of whatever it is. They were 67 cents a can, as you can see here. Uh, so that's cheap. That's a cheap, uh, and, and you got two servings in that. So you got eight servings, but we can stretch it 
with the spaghetti noodles or with the elbows, okay? And then the carrots. Well, that's the same thing I was talking about with the green beans. You substitute whatever you can in there for vegetables and start adding these up. That's what you need to do. All right, and as you as you get these together, you'll see there that was nineteen dollars and ninety four cent in the total cost. Now the total calories twenty thousand eight hundred and eighty. Now, if you've stuck with this plan, here's a list I'm going to show you here of what that two month total would be. All right, you're going to see that you've you've spent roughly a hundred and sixty dollars. Throw tax in, say two hundred dollars, a little less than two hundred. So you're going to spend a little less than two hundred dollars in in them two months. $20 a week, eight weeks, and what you're going to have is two, uh, 295,000 roughly calories sitting there, good calories. All right, if you divided that by 2,000, okay, now you're up to, you're almost at 150, it's actually 147, as you can see on a chart. Let's just round it off at 150 days. That's for one adult, 150 days. If, if it's two of you, well, then divide it by two, 75 days worth of food. All right, 75 days, that is two and a half months that you've got peace of mind, that you've got food that you can eat, that you're going to survive whatever happens with the balloon going up, uh, whether it be whether it be a, a loss of a job, whether it be an economic collapse, whether it be a zombie apocalypse, whatever it may be, all right, you've got... For each person right there, for that one one person, you've got a hundred, roughly 150 days, and see that's what it's about. Now, some people are going to come up and say, "Well, you know, what about the storage? You still got to get the buckets and the lids and the mylar and all that." Well, and we're going to discuss that later. My main concern right now is for people to get some food insurance, get some food in that pantry, man, so you're ready for this. Once we got the food here, then we'll look at how we can store it. Uh, here's the thing, too, uh, is that we're talking less than $200. Maybe you have disposable income of, of, of $200 right now. Maybe you have $200 uh, in the bank that, that you haven't got earmarked for a bill or for whatever it may be. What's it going to hurt to go ahead and take that $200 and buy this food and put it up? Because I'm going to be coming out with a video a little bit later uh, to show you how to store this food, and some of it will keep for 20, 25 years. Easy. Uh, if you store it right, and we'll look at that. But $200, peace of mind, for if it's you, you and a spouse, uh, you and a the partner there, and uh, for two and a half months. That's just the start. This is the foundation. And like I said, some of this stuff may not be to your taste. Well, vary this list to your taste. Always eat what you store and store what you eat. Don't, don't say, well, the prepping preacher says I got to buy the, the no beans chili, and I hate chili. Uh, look, change it out with something. Change it out something that's comparable in both price, fat, and calories so that you've got it. And also remember to keep it rotated, okay? The canned stuff, you're going to have to keep it rotated. Write the date that it expires on top of the can uh, if you've got them stacked in. And, and I'll show some of the, some of the storage tricks that we've, we've learned over the years. But this gives you a start. So, and, and, and I hope that... Uh, I hope that you have started. I hope that you have started. Now, because, guys, things are getting rougher. And uh, stores are starting to run out of stuff. Uh, may not be in your area. I've had a lot of, uh, a few comments where, well, you know, it hadn't run out in our area. Well, God bless you. You are blessed. Go buy your food. You know, don't wait till the last minute when it, and be one of these people running in. Guys, just look at Black Friday and how people used to act a fool over a big screen TV. How do you think they're going to be on that last loaf of bread? I mean, just look at how people go nuts if they're predicting ice in our area and, and run in and they, they fill their, their baskets full of beer and Doritos and eggs and, and bread. And I'm trying to think, man, that's a heck of a recipe they got there going. But they're running in. Look at last year when people were trying to get stuff and it was gone. Okay. Let's be uh, like the ant in Proverbs. Okay, let's let's put it up, guys, uh, because I know God's going to take care of us, but he also give us a head to use for something other than a hat rack. So if you've made it this far, well, God bless you. And uh, I do. I truly love you. And I thank you. Uh, but I, I, I ask you, please 
please keep standing in that gap. Keep standing in that gap. But until I see you again, I'm praying that God may richly bless you and that you will continue to stand in that gap. Folks, this is the Prepping Preacher. Guys, I'm out of here.